Hi everyone, I am so excited to be here with you today. My name's Diana and I have an incredible true lesson from the Bible that I wanna share with you. This week, we're going to continue to learn about Joseph and God's plan for his life. Joseph was now living in Egypt and his life in Egypt, it was sometimes hard, but Joseph knew he could trust God and that God had a plan for him. He just needed to wait until God put all the pieces together. Just like we can put together all the pieces of an ice cream sundae. Mmm, boy, doesn't this look delicious. Let's get started with worship. Okay, everybody, let's stand where you are and let's have fun singing and praising Jesus. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. I know that I can trust him. No matter what the season, his plans are for a reason. I know they are good. I know they are bad. worship. You sounded so great. Let's get ready to learn by turning on our listening ears. Are you ready? Oh, great job. Thank you for showing me you are ready to learn. Last week, we met a very special friend named Violet who's helping us learn our lessons. Everybody, say hi to Violet. Hi, everyone. It's great to see you. Hi, Violet. I was just building a sweet chocolate sundae for one of my guests when I heard you singing. You sounded amazing. In fact, the words to your song answer this month's Bible question. Our question asks, who has a plan for me? And the answer is, God has a plan for me. That's right, it's true. God has a plan for each of you and me. Let's answer our question together. Who has a plan for me? God has a plan for me. That was great. You know, in addition to having a question help us remember our Bible lessons, We've got a Bible verse straight from God's Holy Word. This month's Bible verse is found in the Old Testament in a book called Jeremiah in chapter 29, verse 11. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's say it all together with our motions. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Lovely job. Well, I better get moving. I need to get that chocolate sundae to my guests before it melts. I've had a fabulous time and I appreciate you letting me join you. Blessings to all. Goodbye. All right, see you later, Violet. Oh, I love her, don't you? She's so sweet. One of the things that Violet said was that the Bible is God's holy word. And that's the truth. Everything in the Bible is absolutely true and everything in the Bible is powerful. Will you help me say that again? Everything in the Bible is absolutely true and absolutely powerful. 
Great job! I believe we're ready for our lesson now. Now, if you remember last week's lesson, we learned that Joseph had been taken away from home, from his homeland. He had traveled to Egypt where he was sold as a slave. Things were not looking so good for Joseph, but Joseph trusted God and he knew he had a plan for him. So let's watch and learn more about God's plan for Joseph. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through, follow me through. Okay, Stormy Jane, you can come out of your doghouse now. I know it was hard to wait in there, but the rain has stopped and you can come out and play. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I have a great story for you about someone who did something very hard. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is Joseph. Joseph trusted God's plan. Joseph worked at a big palace in Egypt for a man named Potiphar. Stormy Jane, you're not Potiphar. Get out of the story, silly dog. That's better. While Joseph worked at the palace, he tried to do a good job. If Potiphar told him to get food, Joseph got him food. If Potiphar said the floors needed sweeping, Joseph swept. Joseph did whatever Potiphar told him to do, and Joseph trusted God's plan for him. Then one day, somebody said Joseph did something very wrong. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. But Joseph didn't do it. Joseph was sent to jail anyway. Oh, that would be very hard. Joseph didn't do anything wrong, but he was put in jail. Now at this point in the story, we might wonder if God really had a plan because this was so hard for Joseph. But Joseph knew God loved him and Joseph knew God was always with him. And so even though things were hard, Joseph trusted God's plan. Do you wanna hear what Joseph did even though it was hard? Well, while he was in jail, Joseph helped the other people in there. The guards saw him doing such a good job, they even put him in charge. Joseph trusted God's plan and God's plan for Joseph isn't done yet. There's a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. I love this story because it teaches us that we can trust God even when things are hard. Because God loves us, God's with us, and God's got a plan for us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. Goodness, Joseph's life really was filled with good days and bad days. Has that ever happened to you? It sure has to me. And after Joseph arrived in Egypt, he was living and working for a very important man named Potiphar. Can you say his name with me? Potiphar. Potiphar liked Joseph, and he gave Joseph lots of jobs to do that were really great at, and he was good at them. But then one day, Potiphar's wife asked Joseph to do something that he knew was wrong. And when Joseph wouldn't do what she asked, Potiphar's wife, she got so mad, and she told a lie about Joseph. She even put him in jail. How terrible is that? Joseph was put in jail for something he didn't even do. Has something like that ever happened to you? Somebody accused you of something or said you broke something when you really didn't do it? Things like that sometimes happen. People make mistakes and that's okay, but none of us are perfect. But it's just never okay to blame our mistakes on someone else or to lie about them. We need to admit when we make mistakes and we need to be forgiven. Unfortunately, Potiphar's wife didn't admit she was wrong and Joseph was punished. This could have made Joseph angry and think that God had forgotten about him, but it didn't. Joseph knew that God loved him and had a plan for him and Joseph trusted God and good things started to happen for Joseph again while he was even in jail. Joseph helped the guards and the other prisoners with their problems and even their dreams. 
Then the guards put Joseph in charge of others in jail. Yay for Joseph! Joseph knew he could trust God no matter what and that God had a plan for him even when things were really, really hard. Joseph knew God loved him. Joseph was patient. He believed God's plan was always the best plan. And God had a best plan for Joseph just like he does you. God loves you and he's building a sweet plan for you that promises you a fantastic life if you trust him and if you believe in him. That doesn't mean that sometimes we won't have problems like Joseph, but when you do have problems, you can trust and remember that God is always with you and God has a plan for you because God said so. Just like it does in the Bible, it's right here in his word. So if I ask, who has a plan for me? You're gonna say, God has a plan for me. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for letting me be with you today. I had so much fun. So let's go ahead and stand up and let's pray and sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? Get your praying hands ready. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Give a little. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Fold them just like that. Dear God, thank you. Thank you that you are always there with us. And thank you that you have a plan for our life just like you did, Joseph. We love you, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for our day. We thank you for our families. And we thank you that you are there with us when things are really easy and when things are really hard. We love you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Great job, everyone. We can't wait to see you the next time.